Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Uh, yeah, I missed a day, but that's okay. We're just going to continue. Uh, so day 14 is books that I'm going to be bringing home with me for the Christmas break. So the first one I'm going to bring home with me is Life and Exploded Diagram by Mal Pete. I really wish I would have finished this book by now, but alas, I have not. I'm still on page 168. Um, so I'm really hoping to actually finish this um, when I'm on the plane and in the airport because, or at least like get read a proper chunk of it because I just want to be done with it. And then a similar thing, I'm also bringing The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman. I started reading this probably beginning of October for uni as well um, as is Life in an Exploded Diagram, but I just haven't gotten around to finish it, but I feel like I could possibly be interested in writing my essay on this, so I do want to finish it. And also, it, just in general, I want to finish it. I just haven't. I just haven't. Then the book that I'm currently reading is Dream a Little Dream by Giovanna Fletcher, which I want to f uh, I'm going to bring home and hopefully finish. I'm like page 80, so I'm going okay. That's 400 pages, I think. And then along with that, I'm going to bring home Dream a Little Christmas Dream, which is the short story novella type thing, which was released this year. Paperback version is only available in Waterstones and otherwise it's an ebook, I think. Hopefully, I'll have finished this by next week and then I can read this near Christmas. I'm also going to be bringing home The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters. I don't know a lot about this book. I know it's set in the post-war era and it's a bit of a creepy type situation. And that's really all I know. But Sarah Waters is coming to my university in February, so I want to have read the book by then because I want to know what she's going to be talking about, but it's really, really long, so I feel like it might take a while. Then I've got three more uni-related books, yay! Don't you just love uni-reading? Uh, the first one is very exciting, and it's The New Hollywood from, Bron from Bonnie and Clyde to Star Wars by Peter Kramer. Um, this is a shortcuts book, if that m means anything to anyone. The um, reason I'm bringing this is because I need to write an essay and I need to start it over the Christmas break because otherwise I'm going to be screwed. And this is the only book that I've got. But it is like on a recommended to buy list, so I hope it's going to come in helpful. And then you might know that instead of a dissertation, I'll be writing a file of original literary work, uh, which is basically just a piece of prose. And mine is going to be directed at young adults. Um, so I've got Writing Great Books for Young Adults by Regina Bricks was a Christmas gift from Catherine and I'm quite excited to start reading it and see what it's about and whether it's got anything useful in it. She thought it was good so um, I trust her opinion. Then I'm also bringing Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. This one's translated by Mary Boroff and it's an autumn critical edition. This book we're reading for my medieval literature module in the second semester um, and this one's got like a modern translation in it. So I'm going to read that first and then um, when we do like the actual module we'll be reading it in Middle English I think, which is going to be really difficult. So I'm going to read the translated version first um, and hopefully it will be easier that way. Then if I've got enough space in my suitcase I'm also going to bring Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I've been wanting to read this for a while now and I got this book at a book swap back in September and Catherine really likes it and everyone really likes it. So I'm just really curious and I just love the cover. Um, so I want to read it um, soon. And then the last thing I'm going to be bringing is actually my e-reader. And that's because I've got two review copies from NetGalley on it that I still need to read. And they're coming out in January and February, I think. So I need to have read them before then. Do a review either on here or on my blog, I don't know yet. Um, so I'm going to try to read one of them. I think it's My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, possibly. And then the other one's Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Barnard. So I've got those on my e-reader and I'm quite looking forward to reading those actually. And those are all the books that I plan on bringing home with me to the Netherlands, which is quite a lot of books. <laughs> I'm going to try to put all the books in my backpack and all the other things in my other suitcases and hopefully it will work out that way. I mean, we'll find out soon enough. But this is the dream, basically. 
that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below whether you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you again tomorrow. Maybe. Hopefully. I hope so. Alright, see ya. Bye.